Okay, let's have a little quick fun with the word mathematical, right? Um, we had just looked at how many ways we could organize the word top, the letters of the word top, or the letters of the word tot, and we saw that top had more options because there were no repeat letters. Well, if we look at the word mathematical, right, uh, important things, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve letters. Okay, but we have some repeats. Okay, looks like M repeats twice. Let's see, A repeats three times. Working left to right so I don't miss anything. T repeats twice. Um, H doesn't repeat, E does not repeat, M, A, T have all shown up, I does not repeat, C does not repeat, A we have already covered, and L does not repeat. So those three letters repeat, all right? So using that, we could figure out how many different unique ways we could arrange these letters. If we wanted to make um, passwords, um, they could be nonsensical passwords, but if we wanted to make passwords out of those letters, keeping them all capital. Um, there are a lot of ways to do that. Let's figure out how many passwords we could make from the word mathematical. All right, so um, we would say, ah, if they were all different, we would have 12 factorial ways of making passwords. So if we took the first 12 letters of the alphabet, we could then scramble them 12 factorial ways and have that many unique passwords, all right? Um, but because M repeats itself twice, we're going to have to divide out two, two, we'll use two factorial, which is two. Um, we're going to have to divide out half of the answers um, because switching the two M's doesn't make for a new password. Uh, likewise, there are three A's. So we have to divide by, whoops, not A factorial. Uh, we have to divide by three factorial because there are three A's. So remember, three factorial is three times two times one, that's six. Um, so because there are six ways to scramble the three M's, we have to divide the total number of combinations by that six. And then we have to take a two factorial out because of the T's, all right? Let me pause and quickly figure out how many combinations we could make out of the word mathematical. There it is, that's the number. Now, when you have a large number like this, do yourself a favor and everyone who might need to read the number, every three decimal places, starting from um, the right-hand side, every three decimal places put a comma. And so I can see what that 19 is, that's 19 million. We're almost to 20 million. So the word mathematical could be scrambled into about 20 million different combinations of letters um, that don't repeat themselves. Um, if we had 12 unique letters, rather than that, we would have 24 times as many combinations as this because the denominator of this is 24. Um, so that's a lot of combinations you could make out of the word mathematical.